What up everyone, how you doing? I'm sure you're probably all tired from shopping from Black Friday or eating all the delicious turkey. And surprisingly, we have turkey here in Cambodia and we were able to get a really, really delicious Thanksgiving meal at a Digby's restaurant. And um, that's not the point. <laughs> the reason why I'm making this video is to sh ask you uh, that shop for Black Friday is like, have you ever wondered, you know, being on the other side of it, how much do our retailers making during Black Friday, during this holiday season? And companies like Amazon, Amazon is like the one of the world's biggest, it's if not one of the biggest e-commerce companies aside from like Alibaba. And, you know, Jeff Bezos, Bezos, he's worth over a hundred billion dollars. And this company is valued over one trillion dollars. People are making a lot of money on Amazon, right? So, have you wondered if you were an Amazon seller, how much money would you make? Right? I've, I've always been curious myself. Uh, so, good news is that <laughs> I, I have an Amazon store that I sell, and I'm so excited to share with you some of the results from yesterday's Black Friday sale. So, here we go. So here's a screenshot that I took. If you can see here that sales yesterday were at $7,500, over 129 orders. And if you look at the graph, it uh, shows about $7,500. But the day before, it was only about $2,500. So Black Friday alone, so first off, there are people buying stuff on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, we got $2,500 worth of sales. And for today, or Black Friday, uh, we got triple the amount at $7,500 in sales. So that brings us to about $30,000 in sales for the month. Uh, but you're probably wondering like, hey, is this Photoshop? Uh, is this someone else's? I don't know, right? So I got here on my other phone. Let's show. So. Let's see, give me a moment. So this is the Amazon app. We'll refresh it. So you're wondering, why do you see 146? That's because it's the day after Black Friday, Saturday now, right? Uh, but if you can see in the graph here, hopefully you can see, hopefully, uh, that it does show that $7,500 worth of sales. So yeah, so you wanna compare the two? Boom, boom. But my question to you is, what would you do if you got $2,500 in sales, $7,500 in sales, uh, selling items online on Amazon? You're probably asking, hey, what's the profit margin on this? Are you even making money? And that's a good question, right? And my question to you is, what do you think? How would you feel if the profit margin was 50%, 30%, or even 10% of $7,500, or even $2,500? And what if that translates to making $3,000 a month, 10,000, or even $15,000 plus per month just by having an Amazon store, how would that change your life? Would it be any different? Will it be enough to allow you to quit your nine to five job to build up your savings for rainy days, emergencies? Will it be enough to allow you to go on that dream vacation that you've always been wanting to go on? Or Simply, since it's the holiday season, Christmas is around the corner, will it give you the, the financial resources to be able to buy Christmas presents for your loved ones? Things that they want, things that they need, things that will make them really happy. I mean, how, how would you feel if you were able to provide that for someone, right? For your loved ones. And going deeper is... What if I were to tell you that this business, this Amazon business that you see, you know, where we got 129 orders yesterday, 
that it's fully automated. And what I mean by that is that I don't have to even lift a finger. Sales come in 24 seven, 365 days a year. When I'm sleeping, when I'm eating, when I'm working out, when I'm doing things I wanna do, and that I have a team that manages my store for me. They process all the orders and they handle all of the things that encompasses a business, all of the duties that come with that. So you wouldn't be interested in something like this, would you? I mean, two questions come to mind. If you are able to have your own Amazon automated business is one, what would you do with that free time? And two, what would you do with the money you earn from this automated online business? You know, yeah, I'm sure you have a lot of things you're, you've been wanting to do for so long, dreams that you have that you put aside, whatever the case is, right? It'd be a lot of things. You know, what would something like that mean to you? So you're probably wondering is how much time do I need to invest per day, per week, per month into this type of business where I'll start making some money online? Or, you know, Ron, it's great. I see that, you know, you're getting some sales, but how will I know if this worked for me? You know, I've tried doing other business ventures before and it didn't work. But the real question is, is what are you willing to do to make something like this a reality? Are you going to give it your 100%? Because there's no guarantees in life, but I can guarantee that if you put in your 100%, you will see results. And I do want to share that this is what I've been doing for the past two years in Cambodia, living abroad, overseas, in a developing country where I've been able to support myself financially and be able to have a, a comfortable life, a lifestyle that I enjoy doing that I'm passionate about where my my whole purpose of being in Cambodia is to help our can youth at the Cambodia YI break the cycle of poverty and create that cycle of success and build a team of leaders where one day soon they will take over and they will make it even better so Cyber Monday it's coming up two days and I'm sure you're curious, I'm curious, is how much sales will come in for my Amazon store on Cyber Monday. And so I, ha I, I have a question for you. It's like, let's play a game. Are you interested? So the person that can guess the answer that's closest to the amount of sales that I'll get for Cyber Monday will 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 win a free one hour coaching call with me uh, that's valued at two hundred dollars to discuss about you know his business. See if you know. Hopefully that this could be something that you might be interested in. Who knows, right? But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my weekend. Um, it's it's actually the water festival here in Cambodia, so it's a holiday as well. There's a lot of people in Phnom Penh in town that come from the countryside. And gotta enjoy the rest of my day. So I hope you enjoy your day too. Take care.